Even before the Nikon ZF camera was released back in the summer, we heard that Small Rig, the maker of all things small, to rig out cameras for video, and in this case, to generally improve ergonomics, they'd collaborated with Nikon to create an accessory handle, a sort of extension to the ZF's existing nub of a grip. Though the integrated grip is bigger, uh, well, the camera that the ZF is cosmetically patterned after, the 1970s, 80s FM, it has no grip at all. The ZS grip, as such, is still smaller than some would like. Having been spoiled by the beefy grips, I guess, on cameras like the two generations of Z6, Z7, Z9, the king of ergonomics, and Z8. Even the mini Z5 and Z50 and ZFC, the 4262 ZF handle follows on from the 4263 handle made for the ZFC, Nikon's first APS-C nod to retro and the storied FM. Now don't ask me why the ZF grip ends up at a lower SKU number than the older ZFC model. But here's something I hope I can clarify. There seems to be some confusion regarding the 4262 handle and its compatibility to the F to Z adapter. And you may know there are two versions of the FTZ or FTZ adapter, the original with a sort of lump on the bottom and integrated quarter 20 thread for tripod mounting and the newer version released around the time of the Z9 camera which omits the bump to facilitate use with the Z9 and its protruding vertical grip. Now the confusion I think has been created by an answer to a question regarding compatibility on small rigs own website. Two conflicting answers to the inquiry. Well, let me try to clear things up here. The L-shaped handle for the ZF is compatible with both FTZ adapters. Any doubt would refer to the original with its on the bottom bump. However, this is where I think the confusion arises. The first gen FTZ will block the integrated Arca Swiss dovetail on the the handle. So if your use case includes the first gen FTZ and you want to use the Arca Swiss feature, well, you're out of luck. While both FTZs will attach no problem, you can adapt your F mount lenses. You can't then use the integrated Arca Swiss dovetail on the grip. And that would include me because I don't have a second gen FTZ. I'll be trading one of my originals for the latest because I can see me adapting lenses on the ZF as well as wanting to use my tripod occasionally, which has an Arca Swiss grip on the head. Not often because this is mostly my walkabout camera, but be prepared, right? Okay, so that's that cleared up. I have said in another video um, that may or may not be released before this, that I have no real problem with the existing ZF ergonomics, at least, used with the kind of compact lenses that I like to use on the street. Hey Nikon, can we uh, have more of those? So even though I'm plagued by arthritis in my hands and wrists, I often use a strap for the ZF, but for sure, uh, when I slap on a bigger lens like the 1360 gram 70 to 200 f 2.8 or the 1160 gram 85 1.2, then I definitely appreciate a more commodious grip. And I do like the Arca Swiss dovetail rather than having to add a separate plate. And also, uh, that's where the screw with the D ring is also appreciated. And also, note that there's three quarter 20 threaded holes on the base plate just in case you have other plates you need to use. I have Manfrotto and Cartoni plates that I occasionally need to use. No need to waste time removing this grip when that admittedly rare situation presents itself. Of course, those quarter 20s are there for people who don't use Arca Swiss. An aside, when I heard about the availability of this grip, as I say before I even ordered the ZF, I knew I wanted one of the advertised <laughs> fashion colors. As you can see, I went for Sunset orange to match my jacket and my sunny outlook. <laughs> so I wondered, was a matching colored handle available? Apparently Nikon has also made its very own version. The abbreviated version of the story um, goes like this. Firstly, it has to date only been made available in Japan, but it seems to be a very rare bird uh, that no one has uh, seen in the wild. 
Matt Irwin was recently in Japan and tried several outlets with no luck. Thanks for trying, Matt. Apparently, that Japan only version is made from unobtainium. <laughs> in the meantime,、uh, as is usually the case with third party accessories, there's a bunch springing up、uh, from various manufacturers and various outlets. But back to this very nice option from Small Rig, designed in collaboration with Nikon, as I said. I was worried about adding anything to my pretty ZF that comes in contact with a leatherette. I mean, I want this camera to look as good in 40 years as my present FM、um, that I incidentally found online a couple of years ago. By then, the FM will be over 80、uh, and I'll be over <laughs> 112. I was surprised, not to mention gratified, to see the inside, not just the outside of the grip itself, is made from silicone. The outer pattern、uh, matches the camera's leatherette nicely. That's well done. And the smooth inside inspires confidence as far as protection for the camera body and the leatherette. I will be keeping an eye on that silicone. You never know if over time it could degrade. And I'm thinking of the tacky rear covering on cameras like my Nikon F90X. I own several of those, and the last two exhibited the widely recognized. Sticky skin syndrome. I have one remaining, and I have to say, I always loved the ergonomics of that camera. I don't know if this material is in any way related. I mean, the F90X is like a quarter century old at this point, or if this could suffer the same kind of thing, or if I'll be around <laughs> to find out. So I'm not going to worry. But since I waded into the subject, I'll say that according to my research, silicone is generally a very stable polymer. It even has a sort of Self healing property.、Uh, the fit of the handle, that looks really perfect. Having said that, I'm still going to remove and check for moisture ingress if I've been out in wet weather, which is often the case here on the wet coast. Like all small rig cages and accessories I own, it just really becomes one with the camera. And as far as weight, it adds just 102 grams. 3.6 ounces, so I don't even notice it, especially when I've got the <laughs> 70 to 200 mounted. And as I say, I didn't consider the grip an essential, but since I've reviewed quite a few small rig products, I did ask my contacts there if they wanted me to have a boo at the grip or handle, as they call it. So here we are. As always, small rig won't vet this video, they didn't ask me to say anything in particular about the product.、Uh, I do get to keep it. But as always, my opinions are entirely my own. I will add purchase links in the description. As for the color, well, it would obviously blend seamlessly with the classic black ZF, but to my surprise, I think it looks really, really sweet, <laughs> contrasting with the orange skin. I mean, as I've admitted before, style is definitely an important part of the ZF. Otherwise, why even go retro? So, yeah. I'm glad、uh, this combo turned out looking so good. Don't you agree? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please do give it the old thumbs up. And if this is your first visit to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. In the meantime, take care, cheers, and we'll see you later.